gonna show you guys how to upgrade your degree indicator on your 600 series bender. This one happens to be an M625 to one of our metal ones. These are laser engraved stainless steel. Uh, they're cut from domestically produced stainless. Of course, they're laser cut and laser engraved here in the USA. Um, they come with a 3M adhesive backing on them. That's what's gonna stick it to the bend wheels. So the first step is you're gonna peel off your original degree sticker. This one's a wrap, yours might be a white one. The next step is we're gonna extend the bend wheels out so we have access to these and we're gonna clean them. So this is isopropyl alcohol. We do not recommend using lacquer thinner in this case or acetone because it can eat the powder coat or paint, whatever you have on your bender. So we're gonna line this up. It's gonna be touching the uh, abrasion pads, which we call sticker protection bars. And then the zero is gonna be pointing at the edge of that pill shaped slot. So what I like to do is peel off just a little bit of it and then line it up and then get it stuck and peel the rest. Just like that. So now I'm gonna hold it on there and peel the rest of that sticker off. Now this adhesive takes about 24 hours to fully cure to a useful strength, but uh, I can tell you guys from our experience here in the shop, it's useful pretty much right away. This adhesive sticks pretty darn well and nothing really hits these anyway, so you will be good to go. Now I'm gonna back the hydraulics so I can get to the other side easily. The edge of it's just past this part in the frame right here, so I'm actually gonna lift it up a little further and use the lock pin. It's gonna give me a better view of that area. So again, we'll do a little wipe with IPA. Definitely wait until that dries. It dries pretty fast. And again, I'm gonna peel off just a little bit and then we'll get it lined up. Any gap you have between your 94 and 95 degree here across the two parts, uh, that will introduce error of that amount for the entire second half of your scale. So the parts have to be touching here. It's very critical. And of course, your scale changes size if it gets further away from those rub bars. So you definitely want to have them up against the rub bars. If you don't, you'll introduce an incremental error. Every degree will be a different size than it's supposed to be. Once this is pushed on, it is ready to use. So I can put the bender back together. And now we can use it just like usual. You still have the same exact location and the same range and same number of degree indicators so it'll operate just like it did before but you'll have the benefit of having it be metallic and it will be a little bit sturdier. Now that we've shown you guys how to apply these and how to use them, they work just like the regular ones, I want to mention one other interesting benefit these have. Since they are a solid chunk of stainless steel, uh, they cannot stretch like the original degree stickers can. Um, the, th the original ones are going to be either vehicle grade vinyl or regular sticker vinyl. And while both of those have decent quality adhesive and are not that hard to apply accurately, um, these not being able to stretch tremendously increases the chances that they're gonna have a very accurate scale throughout their entire range. Uh, we have had a few people in the past who have stretched their regular degree stickers. So with that, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscription box down below and check the bell to enable notifications. That way you can be the first person back here when we drop new videos or show you tips and tricks on how to make your tube bending processes or shop projects go more smoothly. Thank you very much.
You ready?